Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Monday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time. I want to announce that Father Don Gergen will be joining us again for the next couple of days before I return. I also want to announce that today begins the fifth month of our Offering A Word of Hope. And I want to share the enthusiasm of all the preachers in how happy we are to be able to share these moments every morning with you. Today's Gospel of St. Matthew is very strong. It's actually one of my favorites, although it's one of the most challenging in our faith lives. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. It's a wonderful challenge, isn't it? We need to hear it pretty regularly. He's strong in saying it's an evil and unfaithful generation that wants proof of why they should believe, wants Jesus to tap dance for them and give them whatever they need in the insecurity of their faith. And he says the sign has already been given. It's been given in the preaching of Jonah. The first part of the sign was the preaching. The second part of the sign was the conversion of the Ninevites. Once they heard the preaching, they became part of the sign because they changed their lives. They turned their lives around. He goes on in the parable to say something about the queen of the south, who was not even a Jew, but she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Once again, the sign was the wisdom, the testimony, the witness of Solomon. And the other part of the sign was somebody else getting up from their seat and acting on the desire to participate in the sign. The sign has been given to us, friends in the preaching of Jesus Christ. And we are invited to pay attention to the sign, to listen carefully, and then like the Ninevites and like the Queen of the South, to change our lives wherever they need changing. To not do so is to participate in more of a superficial faith, to participate in more of an immature faith, I won't be as strong as Jesus saying the people that want signs are unfaithful and evil. But sometimes desiring signs is a sign of immaturity in faith. You and I are not there. You and I hear the word of God. You and I are called to more. And you and I have the blessing in our lives to respond. God bless you.